What do you build me up? Buttercup, baby, just to let me down And mess me around in the worst of all is going on guys i am back with another review of the day at an amusement park and this time i will be discussing august 23rd 2020 which was this past sunday at Dorney park now this day was good but operations were all right i'd say and so anyways let's just get right into this review of the day so when we were waiting to get through the temperature checks after we first got to the park of course uh, uh, the guy there was like, Everybody's healthy? You guys are eating, are you guys eating your vegetables? <laughs> and that was a funny moment right there, before we even entered the park. And so anyways, after that moment happened, we headed on through the temperature screenings, and went through security, went inside the park, you know, all that. And so anyways, after we headed inside the park, which we got there at opening. Once again, we've been getting lucky with being able to get there at opening lately. We've been on the streak of getting there at opening lately. But anyways, after we entered the park, because we got there at opening, the first ride we did when we entered was, of course, Talon. And we actually got on it in the back row. I was hoping we'd get in the front row on it, but we actually got in the back. And I was earthing on it once again, too which was always fun. I always have fun riding Talon barefoot now. And so, anyways, after that ride on Talon, we headed to Wave Swinger, where I earthed on it once again. And you could tell that because after the ride, EB took one pick of me changing into my shoes and socks and not multiple like last time. But when I earthed on Wave Swinger, I earthed on the like gray platform, and it felt so hot. And so... Anyways, after, but it was a really good ride on Wave Swinger too. I always have fun earthing on Wave Swinger now. And so, anyways, after that ride on Wave Swinger, we headed to the Wild Mouse, and that was a really good ride in on it. And so, anyways, after the Wild Mouse, we got on Kaleidoscope, which was a really good ride in on that. And after Kaleidoscope, we ate at Amor Pizza, which was a really good meal there since we hadn't eaten there since August 7th. Which I, which I always remember the August 7th visit. When, whenever I think of the August 7th visit now, the, the first thing that pops up, pops in my mind is, You can keep your shoes and socks on. <laughs> so that's the thought that randomly pops in my head whenever I think of the last time we ate at Amor Pizza before this visit. And so anyways, this visit uh, that I'm reviewing right now, we had like a really good meal at Amor Pizza. And so, anyways, after that comeback meal at Amor Pizza, we headed for Thunder Canyon, which was a really good ride-in on it. We needed it since it was a really freaking hot day at Dorney Park. And so, anyways, after that ride-in on Thunder Canyon, we were going to do Hydra, but then there was a line and we decided, eh, we're not going to wait in it. And so, anyways, after that, that disappointment, we headed to Dominator Red. And I actually wanted to do Dominator Green at the moment, but it was closed. And so, anyways, so we then we rode Dominator Red, and I was earthing on it once again. But this time, the ride op test gave us a countdown on Dominator Red, which we didn't need that. Especially, EB didn't need it, since he's been on Dominator Red enough times to know... When it's going to launch up. And so, anyways. After that ride on Dominator Red, we headed for the whip. Which was a really good ride in on it. And so, anyways. After the whip, we headed to the monster. Which was another great ride on the monster. And so, anyways. After the monster, we headed to Cedar Creek Flyers. Which was a really good ride in on it. And when we got to Cedar Creek Flyers. And, uh, surprisingly, all the seats were Filled by people when we got in line for it. Like, my gosh, Cedar Creek Flyers never gets ridership like this anymore. Like, I was shocked to see, like, a full ride, full ride on Cedar Creek Flyers. Like, my gosh. And so, anyways, the, the Cedar Creek Flyers was getting a pretty high amount of riders. And so, anyways, after Cedar Creek Flyers... Uh, I went number six in the bathroom, <laughs> and so, anyways, after my number six, we headed to Steel Force, which was a really good ride-in on it. We rode in the back row, 
and the back row rides on steel force are always really good. And so anyways, after that we rode Revolution, where I once again went earthing on it. And can I just say that Revolution is my favorite flat ride at Thorny to go earthing on. It's just so lit to go earthing on Revolution, guys. And I highly recommend you try it. And so, anyways, after that ride on Revolution, we after that ride on Revolution, which was pretty good, we headed for Thunderhawk, which was a really good ride in on it. And once again, we got the front row. And so, anyways, after Thunderhawk, we headed for Demon Drop, which was a really good ride in on it. And so, anyways, after Demon Drop, we headed to the Ferris Wheel, I believe. Yeah, we did. And that was a really good ride in on it. We got some good shots. And, of course, we were making funny antics. And so, anyways, after that ride on the Ferris Wheel, we headed to Hydra because I really wanted to do it after the Ferris Wheel because at that point I was really regretting not waiting in that line for some reason because... I always, like, have fun earthing on Hydra, and I just wanted to get on Hydra in general, too. And so, anyways, um, we headed to Hydra after that ride on the Ferris wheel, and there were some funny moments on Hydra, <laughs> like, <laughs> an employee named uh, Zach picked up the phone, and he sounded like he was in a bad mood, and he was like, WHAT?! <laughs> and so... Anyways, um, after that funny moment, we officially got on the ride, and I was earthing in the front row on Hydra once again. And so, anyways, after that ride on Hydra, we headed for Enterprise. And when we were in line for it, when the when the ride had stopped, when we were after after the cycle we had waited for, the there was some guy freaking socking on it, you guys. <laughs> And after that, I started wishing I could go earthing on Enterprise. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't know how this guy got away with wearing just his socks on Enterprise. Like, Enterprise is not one of those rides you could, like, take your shoes or shoes and socks off on. And, like, this guy got away with socking on it. Like, I don't know how he did that, but... We got away with socking on it, and after that we had to wait for a little bit to get on Enterprise, which was absolutely ridiculous because, like, I don't know. And so, anyways, after that good ride on Enterprise we had, we headed to Tilt World, which was absolutely terrible. We got no spins at all. And so, anyways, after the Tilt World, we headed to Music Express, which was really good. And so, anyways, after the Music Express, we headed to Apollo. And after Apollo, we headed to Sea Dragon. And then, after Sea Dragon, which we waited a, 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 almost a half hour just to get on it, which was absolutely ridiculous. Like, my gosh. Like, I don't know how... Oh, my gosh. I... And so, anyways, after that good ride on Sea Dragon, although we did wait a half, almost a half hour to get on it. Uh, and so, anyways, after that really good ride on Sea Dragon, sorry I'm stirring you guys, but after that good ride on Sea Dragon, <laughs> for the which I, which I probably said for the millionth time, we headed to Thunder Creek Mountain, and this was our actual. Uh, uh, this was why. This is my first free evening ride I've had on Thunder Creek Mountain with EB. Like, I've had an evening ride on Thunder Creek Mountain with my dad, but that was back in July of 2015, and so, and that was when I had a high voice, so it was nice to have, like, an evening ride on Thunder Creek Mountain, like, after I'd, after I'd gone, way after I'd gone through puberty and everything, and so, <laughs> yeah, and it was nice doing it with my friend EB, too, and we did the Log Boom song on Thunder Creek Mountain, like always, and I love that evening ride on Thunder Creek Mountain, and so, anyways, after that ride on Thunder Creek Mountain, we decided on where to eat, and we decided to eat at Chicken Shack, and we both got the shrimp basket because EB wanted the chicken Caesar salad, but they were out of that, 
and then he ordered the grilled chicken sandwich, and they said they were all out of that, too. And when I heard that, man, man, I thought, that, this absolutely sucks. Like, I love, um, I love the grilled chicken sandwich basket at Chicken Shack. And I even got in on October 13th, 2019. You saw it. And so, anyways, yeah, I decided... I'm, I was going to get the shrimp basket along with EB <laughs> because EB requested the shrimp basket after they said they were out of the chicken ba chicken sandwich basket. And so, anyways, they, they were moving really slow to get my shrimp basket at Chicken Shack. And, like, if like if the, if the guy would have hurried, hurried up with my food... That we would have had time to get on Dominator Green, but we didn't. We only had time for Dodgem after our meal. But anyways, the the guy who gave me my shrimp basket said that they were like waiting on more shrimp, and it took them like forever. And so, anyways, after that meal at Chicken Shack, we had finally we only had time to do Dodgem, and here's why: we rode Dodgem twice without getting off. And the first ride wasn't that good because I kept getting stuck in, like, traffic jams. But the second ride, I was going pretty good. And so, anyways, after those two rides on Dodgem we had without getting off, that basically concluded our day at Thorny. So, this concludes my, my review of August 23rd, 2020 at Thorny Park. Reply to me your thoughts on this video. And make sure to stay tuned for more of those coming soon to Coaster Plus Music 19. And I will see you in the next.